Well, we're going to go ahead and get started. If you could keep putting uh, the information in the chat, that would be great. Um, thank you, Kathy. I will work on that. That'd be a great idea. All right, so uh, this morning uh, at this session, we are going to hear a lot about San Diego Mesa College. Our presenter is Carla Trutna, and she is the Outreach and Promise Coordinator. So there you go, Kathy. She is the guru for the Promise Program. So we're excited to have her here today to share all the information. She does have four raffle prizes at the end, so if you stay on, your name might be selected for a raffle prize. So. Thank you everyone for being here. I'm gonna go ahead and let her get started. Thank you, Tanya and Zaret. And good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, my name is Carla Tretna and I serve as the Mesa College Outreach and Promise Coordinator. And I'm just so psyched to be here and to share with all of you everything that San Diego Mesa College has to offer. So let's go ahead and begin. So at Mesa College, um, you know, we have a long history of supporting our students. We were established in 1964. So we have, you know, this really rich history of helping our students. And we know that our students come from a number of, you know, different places in California and beyond. So we help our students to make that transition to the college. And in continuing that support, our affordable price tag, right? So $46 a unit. We offer high quality instruction and dedicated student support. We do also have flexible course offerings, online, on-site, and weekend courses, because we understand that our students have a number of responsibilities and we really cater to you know, helping them academically. We are all about MESA student-centered support. So Hispanic serving institution, we'll begin with that. San Diego Mesa College is proud to be formally designated a Hispanic serving institution by the United States Department of Education. The purpose of this designation is to provide Mesa College the opportunity to improve the academic attainment of Latinos, Chicanos, Hispanic, um, and similar identities and low income students. So really going above and beyond to help our students in any way possible, um, that's what Mesa is all about. And speaking of that support, I wanted to share with you a little bit about Olympia. Uh, so Olympia is our school mascot and she's our, also our chat bot. So we have a virtual assistant named um, Olympia and she is available 24 seven. So every day of the week, Miss Olympia is available to students who may have, you know, a quick question or they wanna learn more about a program. What happens is the student just needs to log on to any of our Mesa College websites and on the um, bottom right hand side, we actually have this chat bot. And within seconds, the student will have a response to their question. And the neat, neat part about that is that, let's say a student you know, is a midnight owl, like Olympia is on. She can respond to any question the student has. And so, uh, especially with everything that's been going on currently, you know, we've been working remotely. Um, the chat bot has been you know, going on and helping our students. In addition to that support, we have the stand. And I'm so proud to share with you today about the stand. Um, this serves as our Mesa's uh, food pantry and professional clothing closet. And it serves the needs of our Mesa College students offering drive through mobile food markets. This happens every first of the Monday and um, fourth Thursday. We also provide direct student support, the food pantry, uh, as shared previously, Zoom workshops, free uh, professional clothing closet, because we know a lot of our students, you know, they're trying to get that job. They want to have a nice suit or they want to have a nice blazer. The pan, you know, the pantry or the pro professional clothing closet really helps the student to have that opportunity to pick out an item that is theirs to keep and that they are able to use, you know, for their um, interviews. We also have free hot lunches. We have in-person workshops and no cost hygiene products for all of our students. So the stand really does go above and beyond to meet the needs of our students, especially given that you know, our students face so many challenges like food insecurity. And we really wanna make sure that our students are supported to the best of our ability. In addition to the support, we have STEM Core, which is a one-year STEM preparatory program with an emphasis in math. And it's designed to help students finish prereq uh, courses in order to major in the sciences. 
As a STEM core students, they are a part of a learning community that provides them counseling, career advising, tutoring, and one-on-one -on -one support to get ready to uh, pursue their STEM degree. And the neat thing is, I mean, this program helps them beyond this. So as shared, you know, career advising, tutoring, they get additional support to this. So it's really a valuable program for any STEM major to be a part of. Mesa all also really prides itself in serving our foster youth. We actually have um, a program called FAST, and this acronym stands for Fostering Academic Success and Transitions. And we have a special center, our FAST Center, and it's a one-of-a-kind center that houses our Next Step program and provides resources and support to current and former foster youth. So definitely, if you, know, you have a student who you know is going to need this type of support, please connect them right away with our um, FAST Scholars Program at Mesa College. We also have the Mesa Journeys tool. As students begin their academic journey, they have a lot of questions, right? They don't know what they wanna major in sometimes, or they don't know what programs or student services are available to them. And so the Mesa Journeys tool really helps them. It's an intake system that helps all students find programs and services that they may be eligible for at Mesa College. And what does this intake form do in a matter of minutes? they start, you know, the student starts to see like, oh, I'm, you know, eligible for EOPS or I'm eligible for Star Trio. And oh my gosh, I can be connected to, a, you know, the newsletter that's going to show me campus events. So that journeys tool really goes a long way to help each and every single Mesa College student um, to really thrive at Mesa and to give them the sense of belonging that I think many of our students, you know, really yearn for as they are making that transition to the college. Now for the good part, right? Mesa has a program for everyone. And what I did was I took all of our Mesa College programs and I put, in, put them into this little word bubble. So on the left-hand side, you see these words that are just jumping out. They are our majors. So we have computer science, we have business technology, we have architecture, we have phlebotomy, and the list just goes on. And just so everyone is aware, Mesa is a part of the San Diego Community College District. And this is a big district. Within our district, we have sister campuses, um, City College, Miramar College, and we have the College of Continuing Education. And so when a student comes to our district, there's over 196 programs for them to choose from. And as a Mesa College student, they can take classes you know, at the same time at City or at Miramar. That's not even an issue. It's actually promoted because we really want to help our students complete their program of study within a timely manner. So definitely promoting this, you know, opportunity to students is, is really, really promoted. Um, we know that many of our students come for a variety of reasons to the college. Many come to get their associate's degree. Some come for certificate programs. Some come for our awesome bachelor's program, which in our district, we are the only campus that offers a bachelor's. And I'll talk a little bit more about that in the um, upcoming slides. And we have over 30 career education programs. And some of those career education programs are just so exciting. Like our newest one is our fermentation program for all those students who are thinking about, you know, working in breweries, our fermentation program really sets them up for success and connects them to actually a number of leads in breweries throughout San Diego County. And we also have our architecture program and our culinary arts program. And I mean, the list just goes on, but we have a number of programs um, that are career education focused. In addition to this, Mesa has um, an SDSU microsite degree completion program. And I just wanted to touch uh, briefly on this. So now San Diego Mesa College students can get a San Diego State University degree in Bachelor of Sciences in Business Administration or a Bachelor of Arts in Communications. And this all happens online. They don't even have to set foot on an SCSU campus because of this partnership with San Diego Mesa College and SCSU. And a number of our students have already started you know, to be in this um, in program for business administration and communication, and it's been so beneficial to them. So just share that as well with your students that there is this great opportunity, this partnership with SCSU that is available to them. I also wanted to provide a quick snapshot of our MESA programs. 
and really focus on our health information uh, management bachelor's degree. So Mesa College offers its students an opportunity to earn a bachelor's degree in health information management. So for all of your students who are interested in the medical field, specifically looking at management opportunities, um, this is the program for them. Students are able to work in a clinical setting while earning their degree. And trust me, this is so good because a lot of our students, as they are working in those clinical settings, they're establishing themselves. They are making those connections. They are meeting you know, the, the medical team that they are probably going to work at um, once they graduate. Our HIM graduates enter a profession with salaries ranging from nearly $83,000 to more than $144,000 annually. So there's a lot of benefits to this program in addition to, you know, it not being as expensive and it being locally here in San Diego Mesa College. We also have a wonderful teacher education program. So if you have a student who is thinking of being elementary school teacher, high school, middle school, this is the program for them. Our teacher ed program at Mesa is a designated HSI initiative. So students will be engulfed, you know, with all the support um, if they're looking to be a teacher. Uh, we have, you know, the most recent updates uh, for students in regards to university teacher education program. So we have really great partnerships with SDSU and other private institutions so that our students can be the teachers you know, of tomorrow. We also provide them with information on California teaching testing requirements, which is so beneficial to any student who is you know, intending to continue and be a teacher. In addition to all of this, Mesa has a vibrant community. And I put this picture because it's just so exciting, right? They are having the best game here. Uh, and Mesa really, really has a wonderful, wonderful um, opportunity for those students who are interested in sports. We actually have 19 award-winning sports teams, including men's baseball, basketball, cross country, football, soccer, swimming, diving, track and field. And I think, you know, I can keep going, but I'm not gonna bombard you with so much information, but I just gotta let you know, we have 19 programs um, for any athlete. We also have an award-winning dance program and we offer classes in tap, ballet, hip hop, modern dance. And that's just to name a few, we have so much more. We also have exercise uh, science courses, which include cardio conditioning, Pilates, yoga, and we have several non-competitive sports for those who want to play but not compete. So everybody is promoted to be sporty at Mesa. And as, as you can see in this image, like our Mesa students really take part in, in sports and they enjoy it and it really helps them to be successful. We also have a wonderful honors program which is designed specifically for our highly motivated students. And I think everybody in this room has a student just like that right now in you know, their school. So definitely letting students know that as they make that transition to MESA, we do have an honors program. And really it's a great way also for our students to connect with faculty and have a lot of wonderful experiences, learning more about research and so forth. We also have student clubs. We have over 25 different and exciting student clubs. Uh, in addition to our associated student government, which is composed of an inspiring team of student leaders that impact our campus through community building, social change and collaboration. So it's a, you know, if you have a student who wants to be a part of, you know, this vibrant community at Mesa, please let them know we have so much to offer them. In addition to all this good information, we are all about our programs and student services, and they're dedicated to student success. To begin things off, I'm gonna talk briefly about CRUZ. Um, this stands for Creating Rich, Unique Intellectual Student Experiences. It's a program that is aimed to prepare our new and incoming students through an on-campus experience. Once they complete this uh, three-day program with the CRUZ program in the summer, uh, they are connected to a peer navigator, which helps them for an entire year to be successful at Mesa College. We also have um, our disability support programs and services, DSPS, um, which helps um, all of our students who need, you know, that disability support to fully accommodate their academic and support needs. So we are all about supporting our students with disabilities. 
We also have our EOPS program, which provides a student-centered environment by promoting access, retention, and completion of educational goals. We have our STAR TRIO program, which is designed to motivate and support students from disadvantaged backgrounds. And we have our career uh, department, which really, really goes above and beyond to help students with major and career exploration. And throughout the whole year, they have a number of you know, career fairs and workshops to make sure that our Mesa College students are able to get that job that they so desire. Or you know, if they are a little rusty in creating a resume, the career team makes sure to help the student to create that resume. We also have our transfer department, which supports all of our Mesa students on their path towards transfer. And we have the highest rates of transfer in San Diego County. So Mesa really does go you know, to the highest level to ensure that our students are set up for that transfer opportunity. And we have a wonderful tutoring program. The Mesa Tutoring and Computing Center's MT2C is a centralized tutoring program dedicated to student success. They offer face-to-face -face, uh, tutoring with the Learning Resources Center, as well as hotspots across the campus. We also offer embedded tutoring within the classroom in addition to online tutoring. So I tell this to every single student that I work with, no matter what grades you are you know, getting currently, tutoring will help you, it just will. So if you are getting Cs, if you are getting Bs, tutoring will make sure to help you to get those As and to connect with other students who are just like you and trying to get to that next chapter in their academic journey. What I did in addition you know, to sharing a little bit about these programs, um, I put our student services website, uh, which is noted here in the bit.ly, because I really want you to explore all of our other um, additional services that we have for students. And there's so many more. So this is just a little snapshot, but I really wanted you to understand you know, what those programs are about because these are the programs that we really promote to our first time students. Paying for school, I know this is a big one. So how am I gonna fund my education? Very important, and I know you've heard this a couple of times, but applying for financial aid. So completing that FAFSA, completing the California Dream Act, um, and the benefits are numerous. Um, students can get CCPG, which if, if eligible, this will cover their tuition, the cost at Mesa College. They can get grants, they can get work study, and so much more. So definitely completing that financial aid application is you know, a big priority. Also applying to the San Diego Promise Program, which benefits include up to two years of free tuition and help fees, book grants for eligible students, and access to peer mentors, as well as individualized counseling. In addition to all of these uh, wonderful you know, programs, we also have the San Diego Mesa scholarships. Every single year I tell students, finish your first fall semester and then apply for our scholarships. There's over 250 scholarships available for students and they are open to all Mesa students. So students really have this wonderful opportunity to get additional um, you know, support as they um, come to Mesa College and are thinking of, you know, getting the funding to pay for their um, schooling. The San Diego Promise is a two-year completion program for recent high school graduates who are enrolled full-time. This means 12 units per semester during fall and spring. The program does provide up to two years of free tuition or a book grant for eligible students. And participation in the Promise program comes with a variety of benefits, like access to a peer mentor, specialized counseling and guidance support, and additional campus engagement opportunities. Just so everyone's aware, this year at Mesa College, we have four dedicated counselings, um, who, counselors who are here to support students. We also really um, want to promote the requirements, which is be a first-time college student, be a recent high school graduate, or identify with one of the following groups, foster youth student, veteran of US Armed Forces, formerly incarcerated student, undocumented student, and they have to be a California resident or AB 540 eligible. They must also complete a financial aid application and be enrolled in a minimum of 12 units per semester. This does not apply to students with a DSPS waiver or full-time status requirement on file. I put our website here just so you're aware and can you know, ask us some questions if, if you have any after the presentation. And real quick, promise events at Mesa, there's so many, but I tried to fit as many as I could in this slide. 
So to help our students when they are first coming to Mesa, we do have Mesa RegFest every single summer to help the students register for courses. We also have financial aid workshops. We have information sessions that counselors can attend, students, as well as parents. And we have promised coffee hours, and these coffee hours are available the whole year to help our students you know, connect with us and be supported. And on the right uh, bottom side is a, is a promised graduate. I just wanted to, you to see that a lot of what we do is geared towards helping our students make it to this point in their academic journey. Apply, be admitted. That's our first step, be financed as we shared, apply for financial aid. Step number three, be advised. So complete that online orientation and our pre-registration workshop. And number four, be enrolled, register online and pay for classes. So all of these steps are really vital for any student who is thinking about applying to San Diego Mesa College. And now for the good part. Uh, in addition to this wonderful presentation, I did wanna share with you that we have some wonderful swag items for you. Um, I've shared with Tanya and Zaret that uh, we have a drawstring bag and uh, a pen, as well as a college pennant and a workout towel because we all working out, okay? I can, I can see you all, we're all working out. So definitely just a little something for you to use as well as sunglasses. We are in sunny California. So definitely um, I wanted to make sure you had a nice um, swag item. And last but not least, thank you so much for attending today's presentation. We have a really, really, um, you know, great opportunity for any of your students to come to Mesa College and let them know they can connect with us uh, via social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and our email address is also listed on the right hand side as well as our phone number. And so again, thank you so much. And I will turn it over to Tanya and Zaret. All right, so we do have some questions before we get to our raffle winners, and there will be four. So that's those are good odds. And we have about 25 people on this call. So we'll see who's our winners. But we have a, do have a few questions. Um, so for clarification, Mesa has two bachelor degrees. Is that oh, one, sorry. So it's the bachelor's in health information management. The teacher ed program is, is just a um, associate's degree at this time, but who knows, in the future, it would be wonderful to have that type of opportunity for our students. And so the one that's offered through San, uh, SDSU, that's just, that's because that's their program. Yes. Mm -hmm. your microsite. That's correct. Yes, that's a partnership with them. Um, the student would have to apply to SDSU to be admitted into those two programs. So it's in business administration and in communications. Great. Um, do students have to complete one semester be first before applying to the San Diego Mesa scholarships? Yes, it is required. Um, so if a student right now um, is in fall semester and they complete this semester, then they are eligible to apply for our scholarships. Um, and they open up pretty early. So in December already, we're promoting the scholarship opportunities uh, to students. Uh, what about early graduates who finish in the first semester of their senior year? What do you recommend for San Diego Promise Program? Should they start school in January or wait until next year? That's a great question, Tanya. So I got to share, if a student is interested in coming um, to Mesa College as an early grad, there's a couple of different options. So if they do start with their Promise Program in the spring, so let's say spring uh, 2022, um, what's going to happen is they will have a year and a half in the San Diego Promise Program. However, if they start with us in the Promise Program um, in the fall, so yes, definitely waiting one semester, um, we can put them on, on standby and then fully activate their Promise in fall 2022. So those are two options. And so either start in spring or um, you know wait till fall 2022, and we can hold their spot. Um, they would just have to send me an email and I can make that happen. And my son did that at Cuyamaca College. He graduated in December and then was able to enroll in the spring um, with the Promise program. So that is just want to let you know that uh, there is someone out there who had that happen and it, it was great. Thank you. <laughs> List some of the career certificate programs. Yes, um, so there's a lot. There's over 30 of those programs available to students. So um, if a student is thinking about architecture um, or culinary arts 
Oh, and we have all of the allied health programs. So like medical assisting, phlebotomy, um, what else? Um, rad tech. So if they want to focus on uh, radiology. Um, we have a lot of different programs, dental hygienists. Um, so if the student is interested in learning more about the CTE programs, um, I can definitely also um, send you information on that, Tanya, so that everybody in this um, presentation is aware because there's a lot and they're short programs. Um, a lot of students, we understand, don't, they don't want to you know, make that transfer uh, to a UC or a CSU. They just want to work on a career education program right away, and we can make that happen. Perfect. Um, for the HIM BA degree, do students pay SDSU tuition? Is it a reduced rate because of the partnership? Oh, no. Um, I think that, I mean, it's all, it's all an SDSU program. So it would be SDSU fees. Um, we would just be uh, serving as the, the host, <laughs> definitely. Um, but yes, it would be all through SDSU. And then are you open for in-person site tours yet? Yes, we are. So if you want to come visit me, I'm, I'm actually in the office right now. And we are um, hosting a number of different groups. We actually have Hoover High School um, visiting us in November. So we are open and we are happy to meet with your students and with your families. Um, I always, when we're getting, we're starting to get a lot of phone calls um, from interested students. And we are open Monday through Thursday from 9 a.m. to about 4.30 p.m. And then on Fridays, uh, we are working remotely. So um, try to schedule that campus tour Monday through Thursday. And the phone number that you can give us a call is right on the um, bottom right-hand side. You just give us a phone call and we will schedule that campus tour for you. Great. Um, and if a student applies to the SDSU bachelor's through Mesa, do they need to be A through G? Yes, yes, they will. <laughs> it, it's gonna be the same process. Definitely, um, as if they were applying, because it is an SDSU program. Um, so definitely, A through G is, is going to be something that they have to abide by. Uh, so follow those re um, course requirements. And if you have any questions, please feel free to send us an email because I can connect you to our transfer department to find out more about what that application process looks like. And I will put all of uh, this information on our website. The the person who was here today, along with their presentation, the recording, um, and every and all the resources that I'm sent, so you will all have access to this uh, after the workshop. Just give it about; it'll probably be up next Monday. And then the last question before we get to the raffle: four of you will win. Um, can students register for fall semester yet? Um, not yet. Our, our class schedule is not yet available, but um, it will be very soon. So right now we're we're actually prepping for spring. Um, so that's the one that's coming up next. And then sometime I would say like around maybe March, April, start looking out because that's when we will have our, our fall course offerings. Perfect. All right, so we're gonna do our raffle. Do you wanna show that slide again of the swag that you took a picture of? Oh yes. And then Zarette, um, she's gonna pick four from our participation list. And so that we know that you're here, if you could put your email into the chat, if she lists your name, then we will reach out to you to get your mailing address. All right, so Zarette, who are our four winners? Our first winner is Maya Junker, congratulations. Yay. Our second winner is Jeff Workman. Congratulations. Our third winner is Sarah Silva. Woo, jazz hands, yay. <laughs> and our last but not least winner is Deanna Goldberg. Congratulations, everyone. Yeah. Woohoo! All right, so if you just heard your name, put your email address into the chat, please, um, before you log off. And if we don't see your email, then we're gonna pick someone new. So again, please put your email address into the chat. We got Deanna's, we got one. So how about the other three? We got Sarah's, awesome. So hold on everyone. If we don't get all four, then you will get, a, someone else might get a prize. Miss Tanya, as we wait for the few more uh, emails, we do have one last question if possible. The question is, what is the length of most certificate programs? Yeah, so it varies. And that's another, I mean, all the questions have been great. So thank you so much for, um, 
for asking them. Uh, but in regards to the time frame, sometimes students finish within two years, but sometimes it takes a little bit longer, um, especially if you know some of the courses fill up. So we're looking maybe three, three, four years. Um, but really, it's it's very so much, and it's all dependent on the student. So if the student is moving quickly through those units, they could ideally be done within those two years. Okay. All right. Did you get all of the email addresses, Zaret? Just waiting for one more, Mr. Jeff. Send it over. So Jeff, we're gonna give you five seconds, and then or Zaret, go ahead and pick another name. Okay. So I have Christine Barragan. Congratulations. Oh, there's Jeff. It's okay. Okay. Uh, would you be able to send us five swag gifts, Carla? Five packs? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. <laughs> okay, Miss Carla. Okay. I love you guys. Everybody, thank you so much for having me today. Um, it was a pleasure to be here, and I look forward to getting to meet some of you. Please feel free to send us any email that, you know, you have an inquiry, send it our way. All right. Thank you all for attending, and hopefully we'll see you at 1015 at our next session. Bye-bye, everyone.